Hmm. Are you answering that? Yes, I'm feeling saucy oh, today. God. So let's go. Hello, it's Mark. Uh, hello, could you direct me to your review department? Stu, please? please don't call me, sir. You know, we don't have departments here. Did you get the pictures I sent for review? Yeah, you sent some pictures of uh, letters. That's affirmative, Mr. Moore. Could you put the first one up on the screen, please? It's up now. Yeah, I see it. Please don't call me, mister. Well, Willikers, this is a review of the vowels. I don't think anybody's really given them serious thought, you know. The vowels? A-E-I-O-U, you're talking about. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves there, Mr. Moore. <laughs> I'll start with Y. I'll give this one points for the hieroglyphic look, but without the YMCA song, it would be nothing. Hey, that makes me want to put my pride on the shelf. They have everything there for you to enjoy. All right, let's not encourage him. If I could interrupt, Mr. Moore. Please don't call me mister. Moving on to the O. What in the ham sandwich is this? Just a circle? Not very original. It's actually O is an overrated, if you ask me. We really didn't ask you, Stu. And don't even get me started on Osei Can You See. What's happening right now? I... Are we on SpongeBob? <laughs> Moving on to the I, Mr. Mark. I was I as in impressed with this one. I mean, it can stand alone... Sort of the main draw here. The design is ingenious, but the whole I before E except after C thing is quite confusing. If you think about it, we really couldn't achieve perfection without it. Do you see what I did there? Showing off your grammar skills. Judas Priest, you lost me on that one. If only we were listening to Priest instead of Stu Manchu. Which brings us to A. Now, this little guy can stand alone, not quite as triumphantly as the I. But don't you think it's a little smug coming in first in the alphabet and also being the first letter in the word alphabet? You, you got me on that one, Stu. If it's one thing I can't stand, it's pompous letters. Roger that, Mr. Moore. If you consider the lowercase version, we're really just looking at an O with a little curly Q on top, and there's no power in curves. How many more of these do we have to go? For God's sake, even Sesame Street is usually brought to you by a couple letters and maybe numbers. Well, gosh, oh golly, I'm nearing the grand finale. If we consider the letter U, I'm impressed with the design, and I like the way it tries to be the new I in text messages. You coming over later? Adorable. Well, you, it's true you can't say fuck without that. That is the Betsy, Mr. Moore. Please don't call me that. Which brings me to the real winner, the letter E. Pure excellence. Well, you could say it's, uh, it's here, it's there, it's everywhere you want to be. <laughs> oh, well, this was fun. I'm, I'm working on the consonants for a follow-up, just so you know. I can't wait, Stu. Thanks very much to both of you. Bye, Stu. Bye. Please don't call back. I'm going to quote Tommy Boy. Did you eat a lot of paint chips as a kid? This is the Snaggletooth Rock and Roll Podcast. Mm -hmm.